Welcome back to another Sophisticated Saturday where together we work through my to-do list and get things done around the house. I'm so excited to have you here with me today. We have a lot of things on our to-do list and things that we are going to do. Today I was heading down to spend the evening with my in-laws, so I'm going to prepare a few recipes that I'm going to bring to their house. I was put in charge of appetizers, so I'm making a warm antipasto dip that turned out excellent. So I will leave the ingredients for the recipe on the screen here and link the cookbook that I used to make this recipe as well as the other recipe that I'm going to make in a little bit. But basically I'm going to try and do some cleaning around the house, some other tasks, and get these recipes ready so we can head to my in-laws for dinner. I'll help you fight and let you know that So often my sophisticated Saturday videos are days when we're just hanging around the house, but it's nice to share other days when there are things that we need to do because I don't know what your Saturday looks like. I would love to hear in the comments below. Let me know if your weekends are typically spent at home with your family or if you are out and about all the time or if you have lots of plans with friends and family. Ours are usually spent at home. We do run errands a lot, so so I don't include that very often as the weather is warming up. We're spending more time outside. We have swim lessons a lot of times on the weekends for our son, but usually they are spent at home, which I personally enjoy. So for this dip, once I got everything all mixed together in the mixer with the paddle attachment, I am going to fold in the rest of the ingredients here. So you'll see I chopped up some artichokes. I had some roasted red bell peppers in there that I had chopped up and put in the bowl. Now I am putting in some cherry tomatoes that you can either half or quarter. There are olives that go in there. And the nice thing about this recipe is it did include how to cook it and then warm it up in advance. And it did say that you could serve it at room temperature or warm. I think it was better warm because the cheese is all melty. And it also showed you how to make, I'm pretty sure like warm crostinis or little baguettes or something, but I just opted for the easy way out and got some pita chips, which were great with it. You could also use crackers, but you could do some French bread and slice it up with olive oil and toast it in the oven. Everything goes in an eight by eight pan, and I chose this eight by eight pan because it has a matching top that goes with it. it makes it easy for transport. Because my in-laws are just under an hour away, I wanted something that was easy to transport. Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me, stay the night, oh, miss your flight. And once I had everything in there, then some of the extra toppings are put on top of it, which makes it look really, really nice and pretty. So I'm sprinkling all of the extra things on top and also going to get some salami and slice that up and sprinkle it all over. I almost felt like it was too much salami or I should have made the salami in smaller pieces than I did. So I would probably change that for next time. Finally, a sprinkle of cheese, and this is ready to go in the oven, but I'm gonna set it aside for now until a little bit later because I'm going to make the second recipe first and stick this in a little bit closer to before we leave so it needs to be warmed up for not quite as long. Count the stars Till I 
This recipe Jim picked out, it's from the same cookbook. This is what he wanted me to make as my appetizer. And it is a cocoa nut mix. It has a little bit of coffee in it, some shredded coconut. And it was really good, but in my opinion, if somebody asks you to come to their house and bring an appetizer, just bringing nuts didn't feel like enough. So he really wanted the nuts and I was in the mood for baking. So I decided just to go for two appetizers and did the nuts in addition to the warm antipasto dip. Wish I probably would have read the instructions a little bit earlier in the day because the nuts needed to sit out longer to dry and they didn't quite have as long to sit as I wish they would have or wish that I would have started with this recipe first. So lesson learned, always read the recipes before you get started cooking. And you'll see I just was adding some maple syrup and realized I, I was supposed to be whisking the egg white up first just alone before adding in the maple syrup. So quickly set that aside, then finished whisking up the egg, added in my maple syrup and vanilla extract, and while the coconut was toasting in the oven and the nuts were toasting, I was going to do a little bit of cleaning. I'm sure you can see how messy it is here. Our son had lunch a little bit earlier. He's napping now. So I wanted to get those recipes started and then I'm circling back to cleaning up after his lunch. It's time to lose these naysayers We're better off, the air will be richer And everything so much easier. I also wanted to do a little pickup of the living room. I try and do this all the time, especially as we were leaving the house for the evening. I like to leave my home in a neat and tidy state. It feels better leaving when things are orderly, but it feels even better when you get home to a clean house. And I knew we were gonna stay late at night and get home late at night, so I wasn't gonna have as much time to pick up before bed, so now is the time to do it. And when Owen wakes up from his nap, we're probably just gonna pack him up and go, so there wasn't gonna be a lot of time for him to play with his toys anyway. I'm also doing a bit of a decor refresh. If you've been following along, I'm trying to get my house in order. I ordered these flowers from Amazon that were in the vase and I didn't really like them. So I'm trying to replace them with something else. And I do think I like these tall twig branches that I got a little bit better. They add some more height, maybe a little bit too much. I grabbed a wire cutter to try and trim them up a bit but I think I'm still gonna lower them even more than I ended up lowering them. We're still waiting for the paintings that I ordered. I got some on Etsy. Happy that I made that purchase, but because it's from Etsy and it's a handmade painting or hand painted painting, it's gonna take a little bit for them to ship and I ordered it just a rolled canvas. So I have to get it stretched and I think I'm going to frame it. I don't know, maybe not frame it, but regardless, I have to get it stretched before I can hang it. It was much cheaper to do it that way. I called a local shop that does framing and got a quote and compared versus the Etsy seller stretching it and shipping it fully stretched. And it's just going to add more time to the timeline, but it was much cheaper. We don't need to work so hard. We don't need to act strong. It's been too long. Okay, now we're back in the kitchen. Gotta pop back to get the nuts that have been toasted. Can pour those into the bowl that I had my egg white mixture in. Mix that all up and add in my cocoa powder and coffee and pour it out on my baking sheet there and then put it back in the oven to finish cooking. So 
Time to do a little bit of cleanup. I wanna get the dishwasher running before we go. I don't think I'll have time to completely run it, so it will be clean and I can empty it before we go, but maybe that's something I can still do in the evening, or we typically do run our dishwasher and empty it in the morning, so I can also empty it tomorrow morning if there isn't time tonight. The nuts are done in the oven. I'm going to pull them out, readjust the temperature so I can get that antipasto dip in there in a little bit, pour some maple syrup over the nuts. I'm gonna mix that up and finally I can add the toasted coconut on top and spread them out and let them sit and dry so they get nice and crunchy. Now I'm continuing to go room by room and picking everything up, starting with some random things that I have in my closet that I put on the bench there, haven't put away, and I noticed that this pink sweater was really pilling. So I went to the laundry room and grabbed my sweater shaver. If you don't have one of these, if you've never used one or don't know what it is, you need one. It will save your sweaters and gets rid of all of that little pilling that you might have. So if you're ever feeling like a sweater looks like it's destroyed and it might not be usable anymore, or you're wanting to get rid of it because of all of the little pills, try one of these first. I will link it in the description box below it's actually quite affordable and you can grab it on Amazon something in the air, something in the air. and here's proof of all of the little pills that came out of there and I think the darker color was probably from a previous sweater that I did moving right through I am going into my bathroom and picking stuff up there I'm also just brushing out my hair since my hairbrush was there. And this is something that makes me feel so much better on the weekends in general. I try to go room by room doing a really rapid fire picking things up. I am actually thinking maybe I'll do like a full video just on this. It almost feels like what would you do if guests were coming over to your house? That quick power pickup where it really doesn't take that long, but it makes a huge impact on your space and makes you feel like everything's clean. And it really actually does quite a lot as well. If you just go room by room and it might surprise you that it takes less time than you think it might. I also had some clothing up here that I hadn't quite put away. I, I put away most of a load of laundry, but had folded some things and didn't fold a few others and left them on top of the dress. So I'm going to stop avoiding it and fold everything and get it put away. Feelings the city screen. 
together. We only need the two of us together. Cause we got love. Another room that needed a quick pickup was the laundry room. I had a few things sitting out on the countertop. I needed to take some lint out. I was also throwing some rags into the washer because I am going to do a load of rags before we leave. Hopefully I'll have time to transfer it over, but last thing I'm gonna do is fold up the final items of laundry that I did that I left on the guest room bed. That's typically where I do most of my folding before I bring it into our bedroom. But I could hear Owen stirring, and if you saw, Jim just walked by. So I'm trying to quickly finish up before we head out. We only need the two of us together. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you saw, I just had to pop into Owen's room there for a second. And Owen and Jim actually came back into the bedroom with me to help me finish folding. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Until next time, I will see you all later. Cause we got